People come to nurse Clementina Dos Santos Sanca to talk about their aches and pains, but there's something that keeps coming up in her consultations. Politics is making people anxious. And so she tells them there's only one way to deal with it. It's to vote in this presidential election. It's as if politicians forgot about us, that what they do actually affects us. Once they come in office, they completely forget about the people they are meant to represent. Dos Santos is disappointed with President Jose Maria Vaz, who's running for re-election. He said he would put the country back to work. Instead, elected officials squabbled, threatening each other. Unable to pass laws or approve budgets, the government stopped paying teachers and nurses. Dos Santos was left without pay for 10 months. Her clinic has no running water, and it had no electricity until a charity installed solar panels. To get treatment, people come to a hospital run by the West African soldiers stationed here as part of a stabilizing force because of the political deadlock. Treatment and drugs are free. This is an effort to win hearts and minds because presidential candidates have been critical of the presence of foreign soldiers in their country. In rallies, they appeal to a patriotic crowd celebrating Guinea-Bissau. It will take more than a good show to convince the 760,000 voters that will come out to vote because many of them are first-time voters. And while this campaign has been about trying to bring to an end the political crisis, what these young people want are jobs. Ampaji Bua has a master's degree in political science in a country where half of the population doesn't know how to read and write. And yet, he couldn't find a job. Now he works as a caretaker in an empty building site, sleeping on a concrete floor. It is humiliating and painful to have come to this. I sleep on the floor. I am not sure why I bothered to study. What has this country done for me? It's a feeling shared by many. There's no quick remedy to Guinea-Bissau's problems. But for nurse Dos Santos, expressing yourself can help alleviate the pain and perhaps bring change. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Bissau.